Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. I set out on this journey with no real direction. There is no template for becoming a YouTuber. There's no training manual or instructions or anyone to ask a question for advice. A new form of media that become a platform that entertain people away from mainstream media. And if I'm being honest, it was never part of my plan to become a full-time YouTuber. We've faced many challenges along the way, plenty of hate, but overwhelming support. The doubters, the haters all tried but failed. How could any serious person quit a well-paid job to become a YouTuber? Well, that's the point, no serious person would. I spent a lifetime doing what I wanted to do, not what I should do, and haven't answered to anyone in the past 30 years. I consider myself a shepherd, not a sheep. And as Echo and the Bunnyman once said, nothing ever lasts forever. So here we are, thousands of hours of blood, sweat and tears led to this moment. And all I got was this shitty little plaque. Well, that's not quite true. You see, this plaque is symbolic, never give up. Hard work and desire at least give you a chance in life. Keep plugging away, feed off the hatred and embrace it. But that mindset is boosted by your consistent and unwavering support. Some viewers have been with me since the start and many of you for several years supporting this channel through thick and thin. I have no clue where or when this ends. There is no game plan. As always, I'll be led by you. But for now, the journey continues and I hope you stick around for the ride. So I was editing this morning and uh, we've now arrived in a new destination. So that behind me is a place called Bala Lake and up on that hill is Bala Golf Club. And for those of you around during last winter, you'll know I visited Bala Golf Club and uh, it rained. It didn't stop raining from the minute I arrived all day. I never hit a single golf ball. I still put out an episode and it was at that moment that I realized the reason I do what I do, why this channel exists. And uh, that was down to you people because you still came out in your hundreds to watch the video, to comment on that video and give words of encouragement and uh, filled me with the enthusiasm to continue at a time when I really did think we were uh, banging our heads against a brick wall. So this is a great place to come back to and if that weather does hold then hopefully I might get to hit a golf ball finally at Bala Golf Club. And as ever, when I get down to this place, uh, well, as soon as I arrive, that starts. I can't believe it. I had blue skies just a few minutes ago. But when you're in the mountains, then uh, the weather can change quite quick. If I'm being honest with you, today's episode is, is not so much about the golf. It's about me updating you on what, well, first of all, thanking everybody for their support and was reaching 100,000 subscribers. We've actually passed that number now and uh, what it means to the channel. And I've got some exciting news and obviously it's, uh, it's you lot that should be first to know. So if you've got a busy lifestyle, then you need to look after yourself. And for me, the best way of doing that has been drinking AG1. And to be quite honest with you, it's become part of my daily routine. And it's as simple as, well, it's 10 seconds to put together. I like to add a bit of ice in there, chill it out, give it a bit of a shake, nice and cool. It is a great start to the day. AG1, quite simply, is a comprehensive and convenient nutrition supplement. It's a blend of over 70 vitamins vitamins, minerals and other ingredients including gut friendly bacteria, antioxidants, high quality mushrooms and more. Just one scoop of AG1 once a day contains the nutrients you need to support your mental performance, energy, heart health and your immune system. So if you fancy a bit of this go to drinkag1.com forward slash average golfer or scan the QR code to save 20% when you subscribe. 
you'll also receive a free bottle of AG1 vitamin D3 and K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. The last time they've gone the wrong way because this uh, just seems to go up and up and then yeah I remember this sign and I wasn't sure which way to turn and I can tell you it's left. A lot sunnier than when we last time arrived. I think what I'm going to do first of all is uh, we're going to have a little bit of a recce, go to the top of the hill, uh, maybe take the drone up there. And get a gauge on this weather because right now the sun is stunning it's beautiful but on the other side of that hill there is a big black cloud and uh, i'm very wary of getting caught anyway let's get up on top of the hill like i said so i've just had a chat with um, a very friendly member someone who watches the channel as well which is always nice and uh, a lovely lady who was in the uh, clubhouse and uh, we've had a pretty grim week in terms of weather again here, as is all of the UK. So it doesn't look as though there's going to be any golf shots hit again in today's episode. But don't go anywhere, because I've got some big news that I want to share with you. I think Baller's going to have a, uh, a record of its own where it's the only golf club to have featured twice in off the beaten track and never a ball be struck. So one of the reasons I came back was uh, for these views which you're seeing now there's that lake we were down by not so long ago. It's not ideal weather but it just gives you gives you a bit of an overview as to what this place looks like and uh, only walking up the top but it's really quirky interesting place and uh, I've got to come back here with a set of clubs one day. I better tell you about that news, haven't I? Get the drone back first, in one piece. I've got fighter jets to worry about from the RAF and uh, a howling wind. Right, first thing I want to talk about is uh, sponsors. And sponsors come along because, uh, well, because of you, again, because of the growth in the audience. And, uh, well, it's just a target market, isn't it? So we've got to, first of all, thank PXG because some people are critical of when a brand gets involved with a channel and I kind of understand that but also you've got to recognize that without their enthusiasm to be involved then quite honestly whatever we're on now 30 episode 38 maybe 39 they just simply wouldn't have happened we couldn't have funded it and uh, yeah it just wouldn't have gone ahead so a huge thank you first of all before we go any further and mention our new collaborators Let's give a massive thanks to PXG. And this is a lovely part of the golf course. In fact, I'll turn that camera around. You can have a look for yourself. That little flag perched on the top there. That's really, once again, once you get to the top of the hill, because I never got this far last time, it's quite surprising. Well, that's the view from the higher tee, uh, which is actually the 17th. So two loops of uh, nine old course, two different tee boxes, very different golf holes. And that is the tee uh, 17 and the view from it. Well, this is a gorgeous place, isn't it? Right, let's get sat down for a second and uh, take some shelter. Because unfortunately, we just had a bit of a downpour, but then as you can see, blue skies behind me. To be fair, the course has been uh, plenty dry enough underfoot um, so, and it seems to be in really good condition. Plenty of definition uh, around this uh, real quirky layout. And uh, yeah, where I'm looking back out right now, uh, I'm not too sure of the routing, but it looks really interesting. And I assure you, Bala, I will be back with the sunshine, even though it's appeared again now, with my golf clubs, and we'll show everybody what a hidden gem Bala Golf Club is. But for now, you've had a little bit of a sneak peek. I need to start talking about these 
partnerships, collaborations, mega deals. Um, first one, let's start with the footwear that I will be wearing, you'll see on the channel, is going to be coming from a partnership with Footjoy. So, really pleased to announce that uh, they're on board. It's obviously a brand that is synonymous with golf and has been, it seems, forever and a day. Um, and a real privilege to be um, associated with Footjoy. So I was hoping to have a few styles to share with you today, but they haven't arrived in time and you'll see them in the, in the weeks ahead. So great to have them on board. And like I said, that association with such premium brands is really, again, key to your support on this channel. And hopefully moving forward, we'll be able to uh, we'll share that collaboration in a way that benefits you. The second piece of news does benefit you in many ways in that we're bringing back Average Golfer of the Year. For those of you who supported the channel for a while, you'll know that uh, it's three years since we held the last competition at Conway Golf Club. Uh, hugely positive, always well supported. Everybody asks me, when's it coming back? Well, in 2025. But it's coming back bigger and better than ever, and that's down to a partnership with McDonald Hotels. You've seen McDonald Hotels in a lot of recent episodes at Linden Hall, uh, Portal, Hill Valley, Cadrona. And if you uh, follow us on Instagram, you'll have seen some drone footage of Spey Valley as well up in Aviemore. And we're going to be holding four events, uh, qualifying events, at, um, at Cadrona, Spey Valley, uh, no, sorry, Hill Valley, Cadrona, Portal and uh, Linden Hall. And from there, our winners will go to a grand final. That grand final will all be filmed every single shot. Uh, I'll be hosting that grand final and it will be live on YouTube and it's something that we're going to try and uh, do something that's well not really been seen before so very much look forward to that and that is all thanks to the partnership with McDonald Hotels. More details on that uh, will be forthcoming. The main reason of course for today's video was uh, well to thank everybody we've we've reached a, a milestone and uh, yeah I suppose in many ways it's a big deal uh, also partly irrelevant I mean I just, uh, I just love the community we've built. No matter how big or small it is, there's, uh, we just seem to have a group of people that get involved and support, watch every video, and yeah, it's hugely appreciated. You get the odd clown, but even they amuse me. I like a bit of entertainment. Shouldn't encourage them, but I do. And uh, well, in terms of positives, oh my word, I mean, you couldn't have believed, or I couldn't have believed rather, that all those years ago when we started it, that it would have led to uh, collaborations with McDonald Hotels and Footjoy and PXG. It's, uh, it's hard to get your head around really, and whichever way you look at it, it, it is down to you. It sounds a bit cheesy, but it is. Because um, it doesn't need a rocket science to work out. If you, if you start watching, I'm knackered, so yeah, I hope you carry on. Anyway, I'm out of breath. It's uh, keep you fit, this place. Ooh, I'm going to leave it there. Wasn't our, uh, it wasn't the best episode of Off the Beaten Track but I enjoyed it all the same. And uh, we were getting to a stage where we were surpassing our 100K mark. The video had to be done at some point. And in all honesty, could have took the clubs out. And for those of you who like to see a bit of golf then, I apologize, but I promise it'll be back soon. And uh, we've got all the important bits covered. So as ever, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you all soon. And Bala, I will be back.